Google Maps is something we all use every day, maybe to look up a location, get directions to a place or even check the traffic. However, Google constantly updates it with great new features. So not everyone is aware of the hidden features in Google Maps. Well, let's change that today. What's up guys, this is Rupesh from bbum.com and today I'm going to show you some really cool Google Maps tricks that will enhance the way you use Google Maps. I'm including tricks for both the Google Maps app and the Google Maps website. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. We've always had the ability to share a location from Google Maps, including our current location. However, a recent update lets you share your real-time location with multiple people temporarily. The new feature is available in the navigation drawer of the Google Maps app. You can just tap on the option and then select if you want to share your real-time location for an hour or multiple hours or until you manually turn it off. The location is then shared through a link. The people with your real-time location link will then be able to share their location to you by simply turning on the toggle that says share my location. This should come in really handy when you're meeting a person somewhere and you're not able to explain where exactly you are. Since you'll be able to see the real time location now, you should be able to locate someone better. If you're someone who tends to forget where you parked your car, well, this feature is for you. Google Maps now lets you save your parking spot on the map. Yeah, you can thank me later. You can just park your car, open Google Maps, tap on the blue dot that shows your location and you should see an option that says save your parking. If you're parking in a space where there are multiple stories, this wouldn't be too helpful, right? Well, you can add more information like a photo of the parking space, any notes regarding the location and even set a time till your parking spot is valid. You can even adjust the blue dot if you want. Well, Google Maps has certainly made remembering your parking spot a lot easier. When you're taking a long journey from one place to another, you'll need to stop for food breaks, gas stations, etc. Well, Google Maps now shows you directions for a trip that spans multiple stops. It's easy to use. When you're navigating to a place, you can just hit the three dot menu button and tap on add stop. You can then add the stop you want and you can repeat the same to add as many stops as you'd like. You can also change the priority of the stops with ease. When you want to travel to a place you have no idea about, Chances are, you first look up the location on Google Maps and then open the ride booking app of your choice. Well, at least I do. However, you can easily book a cab from Google Maps itself. When you search for a place to navigate, there is a ride services tab at the end. Here, you can see the location of rides, availability, pricing and the wait time of cabs in real time. There are multiple options and services supported. For instance, in India, the support for Uber, Ola and Meru. Plus, you get to see the different ride types like Uber Pool, Go, X, etc. To book a ride from Google Maps, you'll have to link your respective accounts. It's surely handy though. No need to switch between multiple apps now. Toll roads aren't always the best routes to take especially if there's a lot of traffic. Plus, you also need to spend a little extra. Thankfully, Google Maps easily lets you avoid toll roads. When you're navigating, you can simply hit the three dot menu button and tap on route options. Here, you can just tick the avoid toll roads option and you're good to go. There are also options to avoid motorways and ferries. Once done, Google will make sure the roads you are using are in toll roads. However, do keep in mind that sometimes Google might take you through a longer route which will make it all pointless so don't fall for it every time.
Google recently brought great integration between Google Maps and the Gmail and Calendar app on Android. And that has resulted in a pretty sleek feature. If you have any upcoming meetings or events and the details of it are saved in the calendar or Gmail, well, Google Map lists them out in its upcoming tab present in the Your Places option. For instance, I'm going out with my colleagues to Nehru Place and I can just tap on its listing here and start navigating. So basically, you don't have to type anything. You just need to have the information in the Google Calendar app or Gmail. I kind of like the feature, but I don't like the fact that it's so hidden. My favorite Google Maps feature is the ability to time travel. While this has been part of the Google Maps website since 2014, it is still something not many people know about. As the name suggests, the time travel feature lets you view street view imagery of a place from different years. When you are viewing a location through street view, you will see a clock icon which shows you the street view images from different years. For instance, here is a locality in New York City and as you can see it, there was a men's wear showroom in the past, but now there is Starbucks. Yeah, people like coffee more. Overall, the time travel feature in Google Maps is pretty cool, but does not seem to work in India, which is sad. Have you ever wondered how much distance Google Maps has saved of you? Even if you haven't, this is pretty cool. A third party tool lets you check this, but you'll need to download the data from your Google location history. Obviously, this will only work if you have had Google location history turned on for you. To download your Google Maps data, head to the Google Maps website and open up the sidebar. Click on your timeline. Here you can see all the places you've been to, all the trips, everything. Then click on the settings cog icon and click on download a copy of all your data. Then the process is pretty simple and you just have to make sure that the location history data is saved in the JSON format. Once the data is downloaded, unzip the downloaded folder and head to Kylie's GitHub page. I'll share the link in the description below. In this page, just upload the downloaded archive and that's it. You will now see some impressive stats like the number of miles you've flown, the number of miles you've traveled, the miles you've walked and run. You can see I'm not much of a runner. The data might not be very useful, but it's definitely interesting. Well, those were some really cool Google Maps tricks you should definitely use. My favorite is the time travel feature, but what about you? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.